time for weather and traffic to get on the twos. Chrissy, how's it shaping up for us on this Monday? It's a wet one to certainly start off the day. Um, and then we're tracking the potential for some severe weather. It's not completely zero for today, but really the focus should be on tomorrow because yeah. the dynamics today, in my mind, just aren't there uh, as far as what we really need to get things going, especially because we take the rain chances down quite a bit as we head into the afternoon, and that's when we see our best dynamics, of course, during the, the warmest part So it's part good of news, day. not so good news. Yeah, the, the good news is today. today it's down. Tomorrow looks like, though, it could be a very interesting day for us. Uh, they have already, the SPC has already put us in an enhanced risk, they skipped right over slight risk and put us in an enhanced risk. Enhan enhanced. If I could get that out, enhanced risk <laughs> better for chance. tomorrow. A better yes. chance. But glass half <laughs> full. <laughs> glass half Less full, though, per se. <laughs> yeah. Glass half full. It's better to have a stormy Tuesday than a stormy Monday. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You still need to grab the umbrellas yeah. though as you head out the door this morning. We've got a good amount of rain already showing up on the radar, and it's going to continue at least into the early afternoon hours. Your forecast for today shows that rain is pretty steady through the morning hours, especially the next couple of hours with pockets of heavy rain, and then we take that rain chance down to about 20, 30 percent. Again, this is the warmest part of the day when we have the best dynamics around and those rain chances come down quite a bit. Our highs today mid to upper 60s as that cold front lays just to our south. That's why we've got some cooler temperatures today, but then tomorrow we'll get back into the warm sector and that's going to help with those dynamics and help to increase that severe potential. So for today, again, the Storm Prediction Center still has us in that chance that we could see a couple of isolated strong to maybe severe thunderstorms, but this is what's more impressive. This is the enhanced risk. It goes from marginal to slight to enhanced and we're in the enhanced risk area as we head into the tomorrow afternoon and this is really for areas from the Charleston metro area south and then we have that slight risk all across the rest of the area so that's really why we're paying attention to what's going to happen as we head into the day tomorrow right now we do have rain moving across the area you can see uh, quite a bit of it showing up here on the radar this morning including some pockets of heavier rain through parts of Williamsburg County upper Berkeley County as well as western Georgetown County some pockets of heavier rain kind of dotting the radar there through Colleton County and as you head out towards the coastline, you've got a pretty steady rain in the forecast for you right now. And we continue to see that steady rain here over the next couple of hours. So looking ahead to about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock this morning, watch this area of heavy rain coming through the metro area and pushing out towards the coastline, continuing through that morning commute. It does start to break up a little bit as we head into the afternoon hours. This is when we're going to start to see that rain chance really come down. And the future cast model is almost keeping us dry as we head through the later part of the afternoon hours. Again, this is why I'm shifting my focus to tomorrow rather than this afternoon, because if we don't have any moisture to work with, we're not going to be able to get any strong to severe thunderstorms going. Once we head into the overnight hours, we get another round of showers and thunderstorms that moves through the area. This warm front that's just to our south going to lift back up to the north as we head into the day tomorrow. So temperatures right now ranging from 50, where that cold front has already dropped through the area, to around 60 on Edisto Beach and uh, Folly Beach, where we've got some of those warmer temperatures. But this afternoon, we're only going to top out in the mid to upper 60s. Tonight, as that warm front lifts through the area, we bottom out right around 60, a fairly mild start to the day. And then our highs tomorrow reaching into the low to mid 70s as we're in that warm sector of the system. A cold front comes through once we get past that severe potential on Tuesday. So that cold front drops our temperatures for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning into the upper 40s to low 50s. Highs Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, upper 50s to low 60s. So we get yet another shot of cold air coming into the forecast. Plenty of sunshine for two, Thursday and Friday. Then we're going to take our temperatures back up a little bit as we head into the weekend. Should see those 60s and those 70s returning by Saturday and Sunday.